right, so uh, it's been a busy past couple of months. Around the beginning of April, I uh, started wrapping up things for the school year, so that includes things like classes, for instance. And probably the big thing is that I had my first special committee meeting. Now, for those of you who don't know what a special committee is, it's basically a panel of faculty who help guide you during the process of getting your PhD. And they also are the ones that determine whether or not you go on to get your PhD. I like to think of it kind of as my own Jedi Council in that regard. Whereas Praveen, the guy you met in the previous video, uh, kind of serves as the Yoda for my committee. Since that meeting, I have been preparing for my A exam slash qualifying exam, which is in about a month. The purpose of the exam is to test the boundaries of your knowledge on topics relating to your research. Additionally, your committee also wants to see how you handle questions where you don't know the answer, to see kind of, you know, how do you think. For my program at Cornell, the A exam consists of two parts, a written component and an oral component. The written component consists of a 7-10 to 10 page document that you write in the style of a grant where you propose your research as well as all the future experiments that you plan to do. And then the oral component consists of you giving a presentation to your committee to talk about the experiments that you introduce in your grant. The oral presentation goes on for about three hours depending on your committee. And during this time, your committee will ask you any question that they think is even remotely related to your research. So uh, that's a lot of information to know. I'd say for most PhD students, they would describe preparing for the A exam and the actual A exam itself to be one of the more stressful times during their PhD. For the past month or so, I've just been doing a ton of reading to really make sure I understand those ideas that are absolutely crucial to know for my research project. And then across the past month, uh, I would meet with my advisors weekly, where they would just ask me a ton of questions regarding the papers that I read that week. It's a really good way for me to practice for the A exam. And now, since the start of July, I have been working on putting together the written document for my A exam. And it's definitely been going a lot slower than anticipated. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I feel like every sentence takes me 30 minutes to write. In fact, there was one time I actually did time it, and it did take me 30 minutes to write one sentence. Just kept rewriting the same sentence over and over over and over again. And on top of that, I feel like I've developed a very bad habit of lying to myself. I tell myself every day, oh, when I get back home, I'm gonna get so much writing done, I'm gonna get page after page done. And uh, never quite as productive as I wanna be. I'm also really trying to make sure I put an effort into making sure I take care of myself during this next month. I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and she was telling me that she really wishes that she had taken the opportunity to take care of herself when preparing for her A exam. And that was something that she suggested for me to make sure that I do. So for the next month, it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm also going to try and make sure that I take those opportunities to take a break here and there to really just make sure that I take care of myself. All right, so uh, about three weeks until my A exam. Yay! Slightly panicking. It's actually kind of funny because uh, the other day my advisor asked me when my A exam was. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's August 8th. And he looks at his calendar and he goes, no, it's it's August 7th. And I go, no, it's August 8th. Check my calendar. Turns out he was right. Pro tip, make sure you show up to your A exam on the right day. But anyways, still have a lot of writing that I need to get done. So going to the library. I like this library in particular because it has a grad student specific floor. Is it any different than any of the other floors? No. Does it make me feel special? Yeah. So goal for today is to get at least a couple of pages done. So we'll see how that goes. I will say it is unfortunate though, because it is just so beautiful outside right now. And I'll be spending it inside in a library, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I really want this PhD. So today's gonna be spent in the library. All right. 18, I think, more days until my A exam. So this past week, I actually was able to finish up a rough draft of the written portion for my A exam. So that's really exciting. Something else that I did this past week was I went to the National Institute of Health, or the NIH, for a recruiting event, which was actually a lot of fun. As a graduate student, you often hear PIs talk about the grants that they got from the NIH. Not having been to the NIH myself, you kind of get this mentality that it's this mystical entity that's deciding who gets the money for you know different research projects. It sounds really simple, but getting to go there and see the environment where all this research is being done, uh, it, it was just a really, really cool opportunity. I definitely geeked out a lot when I was there. So really, really cool opportunity. Uh, did take up a bit of time. It was a six hour drive down there. 
Then we were there for the four hour event and then we took a six hour drive back up. So a lot of time was dedicated to just driving that could have been dedicated to my A exam, but it honestly served as a really good break just from the studying and the writing. I'm just really, I'm really, really ready for this, uh, for this A exam to be over, but about two and a half more weeks. So almost there. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. So I've got uh, about one week, seven days till my A exam. And honestly, I'm just really exhausted, really tired. Let's see, so today I got the written document turned in to my committee. So that's done with, that's over. Now the only part that I have to worry about is the oral presentation portion, which it kind of a pain to prepare for because everybody tells you within the first couple minutes your presentation is just going to get derailed because people will just start asking you questions and you'll spiral off on some tangent. So to prepare for a presentation like that, it's it's kind of, I'll prepare a presentation, but in the back of your mind, you know, it's just going to get derailed and kind of meh. Oh, man, I'm so ready for this A exam to be over with. People keep asking me what the first thing that I'm going to do once my A exam is over. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is take a nap. I'm gonna leave at one o'clock in the afternoon and go home and just nap. I also feel like the level of stress that I have right now is just like transmitting to uh, appliances in my life. In the past week, my computer had to force restart four times. Uh, so needless to say, I've been backing up my computer like every single day because I don't want to lose anything relating to my eggs. <laughs> I will say though, you know, with how stressful it is, I'm very, very fortunate because people in both my labs, friends, professors, have just been very, very encouraging, tell me, you're gonna do well, you're gonna do well, don't worry about it. But you know, even after hearing all of that, I still feel like I'm not as prepared as I would want to be, which everybody tells you is normal, which doesn't really help. <laughs> Over the past couple months, I have learned a ton of stuff. I have 350 note cards. But I also learned that there's even more stuff that I don't know. So walking into this, I know like I'm going to get asked a ton of questions that, uh, about things that I don't know. But to be honest, like there's a ton of stuff that I do know. So I, hopefully I'm able to show that during the actual A exam. But once it's over, I'll never have to take an A exam ever again, as long as I pass. All right, today is the day. Uh, didn't really sleep well last night, as you can probably imagine. But, you know, it's been a, a lot of work these past couple months, and it's, it's time to see if it paid off. All right. I passed! <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it's, it's crazy. My A exam was a couple days ago. Uh, right after my A exam, I went to go get lunch with some people from lab, and then I went home and I slept. And it was the best sleep that I've had in months. Just thinking back to it, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And to be perfectly honest, I actually kind of had fun with it. I owe a lot of that to my committee. I have a really great committee who is very dedicated to my training, as well as you know, people who really enjoy the science and having the discussions. And when you're in a room full of people like that, talking about the stuff that you're doing and why it's so cool. You know, it's hard for me not to get at least a little bit excited. Talking back with my advisors about how the A exam went, one of the things that they really liked that I did was when I didn't know the answer to a question, I would repeat the question back and then I would just be very upfront and say, look, I don't know the answer to that. However, in order to test for that, and then I would uh, on the spot come up with an experiment to test the things that my committee members were asking me about. You know, something else that my committee really liked was just how prepared I was. I put a lot of effort trying to put together a good solid presentation. Something that my committee suggested that I think more about when designing my experiments are just the validation experiments that I'm going to do. For instance, there was one part of the exam where I was suggesting I was going to take a cellular model that was, has been developed in mouse cells and I was going to remake that model but in a 
human context to test this other thing that I was interested in. And one of the things that was brought up was when I was presenting this, it seemed like I wasn't really aware of just how much time it would take in order to validate that new model that I was developing. And that's true. It's something that I didn't really think too much about. So getting that feedback was really, really helpful for me. Another thing that was brought up was just making sure that I'm familiar with the model systems for my disease of interest. For multiple different diseases, you'll have a bunch of different models to choose from. And it's important to be familiar with everything that's out there so you can pick the best model to test what you're wanting to test. But yeah, now that it's over, I'm just trying to recharge uh, trying to get some sleep, uh, catch up on emails. Oh my goodness. I got so backlogged on emails. Yesterday was really nice because we had a lab outing for one of my labs where we went to one of the local waterfalls. Absolutely beautiful, highly recommended. Um, but it was also really sad for me because the student that I have been mentoring this summer, um, that was her last day. So it was really, really sad for me. She was from England and during the World Cup, there was just so much trash talk when the US was playing England. Of course the US won. And so the day after the US won, I spent that night redecorating her desk in a more USA based theme. Some people would say that I'm a sore winner. Those people would be right. But right after my A exam, she gave it back to me in full force where she printed out a bunch of tiny little British flags and just stuck them everywhere in my desk. She even bought a Queen Elizabeth bobblehead, which I did not know was a thing, just to really add the icing on the cake there. But anyways, my bosses suggested that I take a couple days off just to recuperate. So the Sunday I'm going down to visit family for a couple of days, then I'll come back and the goal is to get things ramped back up and get back into the lab and in the swing of things and You know, honestly, after the A exam, I'm really, really excited to just get back to the bench. But with all of that being said, I'm going to get out of here. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you all later.